The Bible teaches us many false prophets, false prophets. shall come. That's right. And they shall deceive many. many. In case I got any black brothers or white brothers here who so caught up in your piece of no good flesh. That's right. When you scrub that old black body, there's a ring in your tub. Amen. When you scrub that white body, there's a ring in your tub. That's right. When you go too long without washing, the black man stink. Amen. White man stink. Amen. And when the black and white go down in the grave, I haven't heard of a worm that's prejudiced. That's right. There ain't no worm for whites only. No. Am I right? No. There are no worms, blacks only. Amen. You bunch of bigots. Bigots. More I listen to Pastor Gene Genis, I can't help but to laugh at how ignorant he is to the scriptures. It's either that or he's afraid of intelligence agencies monitoring what he says, like this bald-headed Edomite with the smirk on his face. This guy looks like he either works for the FBI or is an informant. Now, I don't want to dismiss the notion that Gene Jennings does not preach the truth because he is driven by his own selfish ambitions. I mean, how else are you to convict men of their sins if you don't identify the sinner? Black and white people don't sin the same. And, and I'm speaking of the majority. The so-called black man is not sovereign enough over the earthly kingdom in its current state. The earth has a lease agreement. As I've said in many of my videos, the most high is the landlord. Okay, the so-called white man, Esau's name is on the lease and will be judged for the length he went to destroy and oppress God's chosen people. You bunch of Bible carrying Cadillac driving bigots. That's right. I take the word of God and knock that so called bigotry back to hell from where it comes from, Amen. including the bishop that promotes it. That's right. Geno Jennings is a simple minded pimp. He calls himself rebuking the Hebrew Israelites who often address the skin pigmentation and the hue of Jacob and the Gentiles. Now, skin color does not save you, but it is one of the ways the Most High identifies the sinner in the scriptures. There are several other ways, but if this simple-minded pimp, this hot-headed heretic, this hypocrite, if he were skilled enough in the scriptures, like a legitimate apostle really is, he would apply balance to this sermon. For example, Deuteronomy 28, 37, the Most High says Israel shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Now, how can this prophecy, which has been fulfilled and is still being fulfilled to this day, how can this prophecy have come to pass if the multitudes are not cognizant of skin color? And the fact that the Most High even addresses skin color in the scriptures is one of the reasons why we must talk about it. Because if he never said anything about skin color, then okay, I get you. We don't need to talk about race. We don't need to talk about skin color. But the, the scriptures, if you read them carefully enough, talks about the importance of skin color because again, that is how one of the ways you identify the sinner. OK, the current judicial system prosecutes the just and the unjust based on skin color, based on their height. Uh, if they have any tattoos and they, they have a system for documenting their fingerprints. And that goes for anybody here or even visitors that here. If you go to a church that promote the color of your skin and yet don't promote the standard in the will of God, you and your church are servants of hell. That's right. No, you're a servant of hell because you compromise the word of God to protect your church properties. And you're projecting a false image, robbing the poor of their money so you can be rich and stay off the radar of that Edo might sit into your right. Furthermore, you teach a false doctrine 
that angels did not sleep with women on the earth. You don't explain demon possession. I mean, how did demons inherit access to the bloodlines of men? You never preach from Leviticus chapter 13, the laws of leprosy, how there were only melanated people who were considered clean and holy and permitted in the camp to handle the Ark of the Covenant, to handle the tabernacle, some of the duties from the Levitical priesthood. Okay, you don't believe in blood covenants and the perpetual impact it has on the nations. Your teachings are limited and elementary. All you do is shout through the microphone to somehow magnify the words of your simplicity. You never break down why God hates Esau and how it relates to the accumulation of sin or the fallen angel DNA in his lineage. You never break down how Esau would even exploit homosexuality and feminism just to destroy Jacob and how that relates to why God said he hates Esau and he loves Jacob. Okay, you never break down how Esau sponsored the abortion clinics, facilitated drugs into our communities to incapacitate the black women into crack mothers and incarcerate the black man, profiting off of them bodies filling up them prisons. Okay, how the white man, he how he buck breaked a black man during slavery, then had the nerve to rape his wife and auction off his offspring, okay? You, you never break down how the so-called white man, Esau, how he's tearing apart many of our families, then later paid the black woman to fornicate and divorce her husband through all of these different subsidies. You fail to convict Esau of his sins, you hypocrite. You have been grafted into the way of the Gentiles. I mean, you're just a white man with black skin. You're a fraud, and hell will be your home if you don't repent.